In this video, we'll be taking a look at five great cards that you can pick up for around $10 or less for your collection. Let's go and take a look. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we are taking a look at five great cards that you guys can pick up for around $10 or less, like £10 as well for here in the UK. Now, these cards are really cool. They're all from the Sun and Moon slash Sword and Shield era. Now, some of these cards are, you know, we have Rainbow Rares in here, VMAXs, just a ton of really great cards. And some of these are actually really good pickups and actually quite cheap, to be honest. I thought these would be a lot more expensive. But a lot of these reprints and stuff that are coming out, it makes these, you know, cards a lot cheaper to get. Also, a lot of these sets are kind of like no longer in print or have many prints left. So that means these cards might then go up in value over time as well. So we can take a look over on TCG Player and on eBay here in the UK to give us an idea of how much these cards are going for. And these are really great cards, so let's get straight into it guys. Start off with number five. Okay, in at number five, we have the Leon Rainbow Rare from Vivid Voltage. Now I'm actually quite surprised at how cheap this card actually is. I always thought this was actually one of the most expensive cards in Vivid Voltage. Now the thing is, it kind of is. And what's been going on with Vivid Voltage is basically if it's not the Rainbow Pikachu, a lot of the cards have just dropped in value. And, you know, Vivid Voltage is still quite easy to get hold of right now. But like I say, it, it, the reprints are not going to be keep coming. So this is going to be a really great pickup. Around $10 right now. If we go back six months, guys, to the chart, we can see that it was, you know, it did drop actually to as low as $7.5, you know, $7.5. So that's really great and it's lingering around that $10 mark right now. This is just a really nice card, nice collection piece as well, especially if you want to get a master set of Vivid Voltage. It's not a bad card and it's not a bad set. Vivid Voltage doesn't have the greatest pull rates either. A lot of the Sword and Shield era sets don't really have great pull rates. So anything from these sets are really cool. So I do really rate this card around $10. Now let's go take a look on eBay and see what it's selling for here in the UK. Okay guys, so here in the UK, it's actually quite, you know, spread out. I'll say random. We've got some here that sold for you know, $11.50, right? We've got one here, 24 20 I think it all really depends on the condition and how good the centering is. It, it really is that case. You know, 13 pounds here. So we have a 10 in an ACE label. That's actually pretty cool. I quite like that ace label. That's a 10. That's 10 pounds. That's pretty good. 10 pound 50, 14 pound, 12 pound 50. So it does vary. It seems to be anywhere between 10 and 20 pounds. So it all depends on, like I say, the quality and overall just the uh, the centering of the car as well. I know Vivid Voyage doesn't really, I don't think it had much problems with centering compared to some other sets like Chill and Rain, but it, it did clearly has a problem. Um, so if you know, if it's a really good one, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. And uh, yeah, I think this is a really great little pickup, but it comes in at number five. In number four, we have a gold card, and that is from Battle Stars. And there's the Octillery. This is a really cool card. It's a gold card for a start, guys. Right, as we know, Battle Stars isn't the greatest set. However, this is a really cheap card for a gold card of a set. Now, with Battle Stars, it has a very hard pull rate. It's very hard to get these cards like the Octillery. And it's a set which came out at the beginning of last year. There's more than likely not going to get any more reprints or anything like that really down the line. And it's a set that people have kind of pushed to one side. They're probably kind of ignoring Battle Styles. And that really does mean that this card is super cheap. And it is. You know, around $10, as you can see, guys, it has just done nothing but dropped over the last few months. If we go back even further, it came from all the way from $17 down to as low as $10. Could it drop even more? It could do. But if you could pick up for around $10, that's also really good. Great card. Get good center in. Then you're on to a win up for this one. This is a really, really nice card. But yeah, I, th I would say but yeah, anything from Battle Stars is actually pretty good and is pretty cheap right now. I'm actually trying to get hold of a Battle Stars Master Set. I am after this card, so I'm going to try and pick one up myself. But this is a really nice card. And that's going to take a look on eBay. Okay, on eBay, guys, again, same with the Leon. Some of them range in different prices. We have one here. 15 pounds 10 pounds for this one we scroll further down 20 pounds for this one and if we go further 17 so again it could be anywhere between that 10 to 20 pound mark it really does depend on the condition and the centering i'm looking to pick one up myself i probably wouldn't want to pay anything close to 20 pounds for mine you know i would say anything 
maybe up to around 15 at the most but ideally I want to try and get it for around 10 pound which it has sold for around 10 pound quite recently actually so it's it's just for just for a master set i'm not looking to send it off to get graded or anything i just want it for my collection to complete battle styles but yeah apart from that that is really cool and i think is a great pickup to get so that is in at number four coming in at number three we actually have a card from evolving skies now i know it's crazy evolving skies prices are going through the roof they are if you go to the top end cards i had to go through a few pages on tcg player to find stuff that was under ten dollars or around ten dollars that was actually a good card and there are this one right here the rayquaza vmax great card rayquaza it's one of these things where you know it's it's the iconic card of the set you know rayquaza and the evolutions and this is a great card to pull this is a great card to have and for around eight dollars that is not that bad. That's actually quite, you know, quite high value for a normal VMAX. VMAXs don't tend to have that high of a value. So $8 is pretty good. It has dropped all the way from as high as $16 six months ago to where it is now. So it has dropped by 50%. But Evolving Skies is showing great results overall. Now, this isn't the hardest card to pull by any means because it is just a VMAX. It's not like it's a alt art or a rainbow or a gold card or anything like that it is just regular vmax but it is really really nice and if you can get a really well good centered one then rayquaza is just awesome and it's a nice vmax now there are different ones as well there's rainbow versions of this as well but overall i really like this vmax and i think it's really great for as low as eight dollars now let's take a look over on ebay so over here on ebay it is around 10 pounds we take a look here guys we've got 10 pounds here 10 50 scroll further down 9 11 8 750 so yeah it is pretty good you can get it for under 10 pounds i think it's worth it in all honesty it's really nice uh i've got one myself i pulled one quite a while ago when uh Volvon skies first came out and i've pulled it for other people in box breaks and this is a really nice card it goes really well in your master set it goes really well as just a collection piece and you could probably send it off to get graded in all honesty like i say it's quite an expensive card for just a regular vmax it is quite pricey at around that 10 pound mark number two we have a card from celebrations classic collection now this is one of the few cards in the classic collection that has actually jumped up in value we have the birthday pikachu and this is a really nice card very iconic and the thing is guys is it's you know as low as seven dollars fifty i mean we take a look at this chart guys it has sharp it was less than five dollars and it has sharp it is still a really great card and if it's going to continue the trend then it will continue to rise and it started off quite high obviously like all cards do when they first come out but it's on the rise again celebrations is no longer getting reprinted what does that mean this card is going to go up in value along with loads of other cards and celebrations obviously in the long term we're talking you know maybe a few years from now we're talking real long term this is a great card anyway really nice uh, i have it. it is one of the cards i got for my collection really nice it just it is just so iconic so around seven dollars fifty you get it for under ten dollars it's a really great card there are a ton of really great cards in the uh, celebrations classic collection which are really great and i've mentioned them before like the blastoise and the venusaur are great this is another great card from the classic collection Let's go take a look over on eBay and see what's going on. All right, birthday Pikachu here in the UK. Well, what we got? Five pound, less than five pound on eBay here. We've got an Ace 10 for 31 pounds. That's pretty interesting. We scroll further down, five pounds. We've got a whole Pikachu bundle here that sold for 10 pounds 50. So yeah, around five pound, guys. Four pound, six pound. So it's well under 10 pounds. And I think that is an absolute bargain, absolute bargain to pick one up and uh, yeah it's really nice you can, in fact you just grab a bunch of them i think this is a really really great card to pick up for your celebrations collections and just to have overall really nice really iconic and uh, it's, you know you can get them really well centered celebration cards tend to grade quite well so uh, yeah it's a really really great one to pick up before we get into number one and guys make this far into the video and you've enjoyed it make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more pokemon content and comment down below which great cards have you picked up recently for around $10, £10 or less? Let me know down in the comments. I've picked up some real great bargains recently and I'll be showing them in a future video. So make sure to look out for that. But yeah, 
Right, let's get into number one. Okay, number one, we have the Moltres Zapdos and Articuno GX from Hidden Fates. And we actually have two cards at number one. We're gonna do a double whammy. Oh, I'm, I'm treating you guys, we've got two cards. We've got this one and I'll show you another one in just a second. So this is around $6. This is a great card. Now the promo you do get in Hidden Fates is a little bit more than $10 in the ETBs, the promo, but there are a ton of great triple bird cards and this is one of them. This artwork is absolutely amazing and for around $6, in all honesty, that is a really good bargain. This has always been a quite a cheap card for your collection and it's actually somewhat been on the rise, so I would actually pick this up for around $6. Now the other card I'm talking about, let's take a look, is the Moltres and Zapdos and Articuno GX Full Art that are in Hidden Fates. Now this is a great card. This is a little bit more expensive, still under $10. We take a look at this, it's kind of been going up and down. This is a great card, guys, at around $8 to $9. These two cards are great pickups that you can get right now. Like I say, the stained glass version is a little bit more expensive. The uh, rainbow version is a little bit more expensive, just over that $10 mark. So these two are under $10, absolutely amazing. You can't go wrong with the legendary birds. <laughs> Articuno is my favorite and yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Right, let's take a look what it's like over here. Okay, right, let's take a look on eBay. Six pound here for the original GX. See, look, the rainbow sold here for 12. We've got the normal GX there for five. Can we see the full art? There's a rainbow there for less than 10. So if you can get it for under 10, get the rainbow as well, guys. Absolutely bargain. Here we go, there's the full art. Six pounds. So you have it six pounds, seven pounds, five pounds fifty. Overall, great little pickup that you can get for both of them. Absolutely amazing. So there you have it, guys. Those are five great pickups that you can get for under ten dollars or ten pounds. You want to take a look, it is a little bit different over here in the UK compared to over in the US. eBay is a great place to find out some really great deals. And that's why I usually find another great place I find a lot of my cards is actually on these Facebook trading pages they are really great as well i've picked up some real great bargains in single cards and in seal product always worth just joining some of them and just having a look just having a browse and see if you can pick up some really great deals because i certainly have anyway guys that is it from me thank you all so much for watching you guys are legends and i'll see you all in the next one